Hi, this is lesson number 20 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about auto blend feature in Photoshop. In our previous lesson, we learned blend if auto blend is completely different. Using auto blend, we can blend two layer, we can match the environment and colors. Auto blend is having two different methods. The first one is a panorama and the second one is stack images. In panorama, we auto blend our lapped edges in between two layers and in stacking orders two solid layer we blend meaning to say there is no cut or trimmed intersected part in between two layers. So both way I will explain I will demonstrate with the different examples. Here I have beautiful image you can see the boat with the reflection and another image here we have a lake. So we are going to transfer we are going to bring this image here and we will use auto blend feature. You can see the environment and color everything is different but once we will use auto blend you will really feel that the boat is part of this background. The first thing we need to select the boat with the reflection. So I am going to use here object selection tool. Click it and just make rectangular selection around this way. This selection is ok, but here in this part we need to subtract. So we will use quick selection tool, click. Now we have selection, simply we need to move this image, click on move tool and click and drag. So now here we have board in this image. If you cannot see the transform control around your object you can simply click on show transform control while the move tool is selected. We can resize, hit enter. Once we will open the layer palette here we have two layers. The background layer and the layer one is the board. So the first thing we are going to unlock the background. It is good idea to duplicate because once you will use auto blend feature both layer will be changed. None of them will remain original. So if you want to keep the original copy you need to duplicate. So here I am going to duplicate both layer because the board letter we will use for the adjustment. So select both of them, click and drag here on this plus. So we have another copy of both layer. The bottom layer is original layer I will hide it and the board I can bring it up. So this way we have side by side copy and original layers. These two layers layer 0 copy and layer 1 basically we are going to use for auto blend and the layer 1 copy the board later we will use for adjustment. So it is simple we will select these two layer but switch off the copy. Layer 1 is selected press shift key and click on layer 0 copy. Go to edit and here we have option auto blend layers. Click on auto blend layers and here we have two methods panorama stack images. For this example we are going to use stack images. Stack images mean both solid layer will be blend and no intersected part of the both layers are trimmed or cut. Under this here we have seamless tones and colors content aware fill must be checked and then click ok. The both layers are blended and Photoshop created another composite layer on the top. So this merged layer is the combination of layer 1 and layer 0 copy. And this is the solid result. And this layer we can use for our final adjustment. If you will observe the board, here the part of the board it's gone. If I will open the original image, control D to deselect, look at this, this area at the back and the rope here we don't have in our image. For this thing we will use the copy. We will turn on but here is the magic. You need to select this copy and change the blend mode. If I will click here and change the blend mode to soft light. Now we get this part and the rope here also you can see. But we have another problem the reflection is really strong. If I will switch off this layer the reflection is supposed to be this way. We can add mask here. So the layer 1 copy is selected. I will click here add layer mask. 
now we are going to use the brush tool make sure your foreground color is black if not you can click on this button here in my case black color is in the foreground i can use the brush is selected if you want you can set the brush property here you need to make it really soft brush so hardness is zero and the size is okay and simply we will erase that area and the layer one copy so this is our final result perfectly we match the color tone and environment so that is fine here we have another example we have two beautiful images and from this image we are going to take the face and blend with this so the first thing we need to make selection so we can use lasso tool just make selection this way all right we have selection that is fine if you want to add make sure add to selection is enabled this way you can add the selection and if you want to subtract some part simply press alt key and this way we can subtract now we need to move this selection so click on move tool and simply click on drag let's adjust the image in this image the face is a little bit to the left side we can rotate it's a good idea to reduce the opacity so you can match both images perfectly so here we have opacity we will reduce so we can see the eyes nose on the background layer so i think it is fine we can increase the opacity now and here we need to take a further step we need to make selection and that part we need to trim or cut from the background to make selection with this layer it is simple press control key and click on the thumb so here we have selection control d to deselect there is another method if you want you can go to the select and click on load selection load selection dialog box is open simply click ok so there is a selection offset this selection so it will be pushed inside to do that we need to go to the select menu modify and here we have contract here you can set the amount it's depend on your image resolution the higher the resolution the number you need to increase in my case six is okay because i already tried and then click okay if i will zoom the basic selection is offset and it goes inside now this part we need to delete in the original background in this image so we will unlock the background and hit delete key in the thumb you can see that part is deleted and it is important because in this image in this layer if the nose eyes and lips will remain both layer will not be perfectly blended control d to deselect reduce the opacity another thing you will observe we have here our lapped edges if i will move this image look at this little bit our lap we have on the edge so this is important we need to do this to blend perfectly increase the opacity to 100 and select both images press control key and click on the layer 0 go to edit auto blend layers and this time we are going to use panorama method that is selected make sure seamless tones and colors and content aware fill transparent area is checked and then click ok that is fine but you can see in some area we need a little bit editing we can use patch tool so that is fine if we will spend a little bit more time we can improve and in this case in a panorama method also photoshop created composite layer that is the combination of layer one and layer zero so this is how we blended two images with two different methods panorama method and stack images that's all for now i hope you enjoyed this lesson try to use the similar images and practice 
Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.